Okay, I'm going to show you how to determine what your cost per lead, your cost per click, your cost per deal, any of that can be. Um, a question that I receive a lot from people is, what is your cost per lead? And I, I just want to say, like, my cost per lead, it doesn't matter what my cost per lead is because my business is different. Um, I have different objectives than you do, and I'm going. you're going to have different objectives than me. And the only way to kind of determine what your cost per lead is, your cost per deal, any of those metrics that you want to see is to get into Facebook, get into the Facebook ad manager and play around and modify this stuff and see what your results can be. Uh, something else that matters is um, just because you generate a lead doesn't mean you're going to close that lead. Like we got some people that are better at closing deals than others. All of that stuff is going to play a factor in what the cost per lead, what the cost per click and what the cost per deal will be for your advertising campaign on Facebook. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go into the Facebook ad manager. This is, you know, the Facebook ad manager. You should know what the Facebook ad manager is. If you don't, there are some other videos around the YouTube channel that you can see. And, you know, it would they, they'll show you how to get into the Facebook ad manager. Now, I'm going to create and we're just going to come in here and we're going to create an objective around lead generation. We want to generate some leads for our real estate business. We're going to get some people selling houses or um I typically do selling houses. So I'm going to just just going to do continue. I'm going to name this accordingly. I'm going to name it uh let's do um campaign. Let's do seller campaign houses. Um I want to name it that. And then I'm going to have a specific ad set within here named um seller campaign. I want to do Philadelphia and a another let's see if it'll let us nope. I'm going to do Philadelphia. I'll leave that. And then I'll just do, I'll name the ad Philadelphia again. I'm going to continue. And it's going to take me to the main interface, right? And this is of, if you're within real estate, you're going to have to enable this special ad category if you're targeting home sellers, home buyers, and turn on housing. So make sure you do that. That's a big mistake that people make. Um, and Facebook will terminate your advertising for that. So make sure you have this special ad category enabled. Um, campaign budget optimization, I'm just going to leave that for now. That's more advanced. We don't need to go over that. But once you do that, you get over to the ad set. And the ad set is where you get to modify and tell Facebook who you want to target, how you want to target them, where, what area, et cetera. Um, you can also, I select lead forms. So I selected lead generation. So it's going to allow me to do calls or lead forms. And uh, you can come down here and you scroll a little bit. Dynamic ad creative is more advanced. I have some videos around that on the YouTube channel. But uh, the, the, the daily budget and the location, all of this stuff matters. And it's going to help you determine how, uh, what your cost per lead is and those questions that everybody asks. So I'm going to leave this disabled for now. I'm going to switch over to, I know uh, forms are great, but there's some trouble with forms right now. So I'm going to switch over to calls and we're going to do calls and we can expect this many calls based on this Facebook advertising, right? So I'm going to come over, I select the calls. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select, of course, select the page that you're going to advertise with. Um, if you don't have a page set up already, there are some videos on the channel on how to set up your page. I got some templates as well. Uh, daily budget. So typically I always suggest people do a $50 budget. Um, 25 is, is doing okay for some people, but I'm going to stick to 50 because uh, the more money you give Facebook, the more work they can do and the more of your audience they can find and target for you. So we're going to do $50 daily budget. Start date is the same. And people, a, a question that I get is when do you turn off your advertising? So I have a mentor and he, he says, you, you never turn off advertising. You always need new prospects and you always need new business. And ever since I've been marketing and doing this business, I never turn off my advertising. Um, because if you have a business, you need those prospects coming in constantly, regardless of what's going on. So I never, I never set an end date for my advertising. Now, my audience, I'm going to create an audience and I'm going to do that with a location and I'm, I'm going to target some demographics. But before we go there, not demographics, interest, but before we go there, which is I'm just going to show you, uh, I'm going to modify some things and I want you to pay attention. So over here on the very right, you can see my audience definition and you can also see my daily results that I'll get based upon the criteria in this mid section. So. 
in the United States, I'm targeting right now within Facebook ads, I'm targeting the entire United States. I'm targeting the entire United States. And based upon that targeting, I can reach about 4,000 to 13,000 people with my ad. Next, I want to go. I'm going to scroll down some uh, manual placements is not super valid. It's not super relevant. Um, we want to modify this. So based on the criteria that we have here, I can expect around this many link clicks, which should turn into phone calls. And I can expect to reach this many people. Now, I want to modify. I want to show you the importance of modification. We did $50. But if we update this, this is a daily budget. We can do this either lifetime or daily. I typically like daily. It's a little bit easier to it's easier on the wallet easier on a credit card, whatever you want to call it. So um, I have a $50 a day budget in there, but if I go down, it should show you. So you can see over here on my estimated data result, it goes down. So my link clicks went down. So I expect fewer phone calls by just putting in the $10. Um, if I go up 100, it should go up. So there you see my link clicks went up. So I can expect around that many phone calls. It's going up and it goes up and down according to the information that you give it. In this case, I'm giving it, hey, uh, show my advertising to more people. So it's going to give me more link clicks. It's expecting this many more link clicks based upon the criteria, criteria that I have input. Um, Something, let's see. So now that that's targeting the United the entire United States. So people always ask your cost per lead. And again, that's going to vary dependent upon your market and your objective. So let's say I didn't want to target the entire United States. Let's just say I wanted to do Philadelphia. So I want to X out the United States and then I'm just going to search for Philadelphia. And you can see over here on the right, my uh, it, it updated accordingly. I want to do the Philadelphia. I want to do the city. And you can see here over on the very right, this is how many link clicks I can expect uh, between this many link clicks and phone calls. So if I scroll up a little bit, I still have a daily budget of 100. I'm just going to switch for, to 50 because that's what I'm comfortable and familiar with. And that's a lot of calls to be receiving per day. So you need to have a call center set up if you want to do that. Um, or you could also just switch it over to instant forms and those leads to fill out your form accordingly. Uh, but that's so this is whatever this math is. So I expect this many link clicks 78 between 227. Uh, people are like, what's your cost per lead? Maybe today I get 78 clicks, right? But maybe tomorrow I get 100 clicks. And then maybe the day after that, I get 120 clicks. And that's a lot of math. Um, you have to kind of you kind of come in here and uh, you got to do that math or you let this ad manager do the math for you and you can determine what your cost per lead and what your cost per click is. So this is just in the Philadelphia. This is just in the Philadelphia area. If I do, let's see, let's modify cities within. Let's search for a, I like North Carolina, right? Target the entire state. So let's target the entire state of North Carolina, right? So if I target the entire state of North Carolina and I X out Philadelphia, my calls per lead, my calls per result should change. So now I'm expected to reach about 7 million, 7.2 million people. And this is my estimated daily result. I can reach about 4.8 uh, people. That's my reach. And this is how many link clicks and phone calls I should expect based upon the criteria that I put in. So in North Carolina, that's a different market. Um, I'm also targeting different people. So you can see just in here by coming in and adjusting this accordingly, your cost per result, your estimated daily results, this will all change and every single piece of data affects your cost per lead and your cost per result. Uh, how much money you put into it, how long you run it, um, what your experience is on closing a deal, how familiar you are with your market. This, all of this stuff plays a factor. Uh, what if you're not targeting sellers? In this instance, we're targeting sellers. What if you are targeting buyers? It all matters. So let me show uh, one more time. Let's just switch to another market, North Carolina. I like the Georgia market. So I'm going to do Georgia. I want to do the entire state. And you can see, here we go. It updates accordingly. So I can expect about 7.4 million people to for it to reach in Georgia. And I can expect 
this between this many link clicks slash phone calls. That's how many people, that's how many leads I should get. And I don't know what that cost equates to. It, it, ad manager will have it in your um, reports and your business tools, but this is why it's important that you uh, you get in here and play around. You can't ask people what their cost per lead or is is or their cost per click because everybody's going to vary. Everybody has different objective, different targeting, different objectives, and different experience. So um, Georgia, let's see. Let's do one more market. I am also interested in South Carolina, so let's change it, right? Let's it, actually let's add the market because you can target more than one one market. So let's add South South Carolina. So let's target the entire state, and this should update accordingly. So. Yeah, it updates. I can expect to reach about 11 million people. Uh, link clicks between this and this. And that's my cost per result, estimated daily results. And that's going to affect my cost per lead. Um, and again, remember how much how much I put in here. So that's $50 a day. You might not have a $50 a day budget. You might only have $100 for the month. So that's going to affect your cost per lead. My cost per lead does not matter. Your cost per lead matters. You getting in here and you modifying this accordingly to see what you can expect utilizing the Facebook ad category. So these, um, and then the thing about these estimated daily results are they are only estimated, but they are pretty accurate. Um, you can expect to receive about this many link clicks, slash phone calls. Or if you switch it over to a form and they let you know how many form leads you would expect, that's about right. The estimated result is about right. Remember, we have a human factor in here, so we can't determine exactly what it is. But if you want to get in here and determine your cost per lead, your cost per result, and you know, maybe your cost per deal, you can get right directly into Facebook and determine what these things could be. Um, finally, uh, I just want to mention, so, uh, also people mentioned like, what's your cost per deal? And, um, I, it's in Facebook somewhere. I don't track it too much because it's, it's in there. I let the Facebook algorithm and the Facebook reports tell me what that information is. But think about this. Uh, I, I, I meet with people that kind of want to test out Facebook and, and I say this, um, in real estate, this is a high, the real estate, it's a high ticket item. It's a high ticket item. So if you come in here and you spend, uh, I say $50 a day, which usually equates to about $1,500 per month. If you could close a deal for $1,500 per month, is that worth it? Most times, yes, because it's when you're dealing with real estate, you're dealing in the tens of and hundreds of thousands of dollars to close a deal. Even if you're just a real estate agent and you're going to close commission and you only get a portion of three to six percent of that deal, it's still worth it. And of course, you can improve your you can improve your results as time progresses. Maybe you get some consulting. I do offer some consulting. You can check that out on the website or there'll be a link in the description. But uh, a lot of people try to cheap out with Facebook advertising. And you have to think about this. This is a business and you have to treat it like a business. You need to have a marketing budget. You need to have, you need to have a consistent marketing budget and you need to run these advertisements consistently. Um, it's very rare that sellers or home buyers are going to be ready on the very first run. So you got to keep, you got to continue to fill your pipeline, continue to market and let the Facebook algorithm bring you those leads and generate you those leads. And I'm telling you, if you let it work, I say, give it 90 days, give it 90 days. If you let Facebook algorithm and Facebook advertising run for 90 days, you will not be disappointed. If you do it correctly, I've got videos all over. I even got a course available on the, on the site, digital real estate strategies.com. If you you go in and you utilize Facebook correctly, you will close a deal within 90 days, but you have to do it correctly. You can't just throw money at it and not have the right advertising, not have the right um, interest and the right targeting. If you go in and you modify that stuff, update things accordingly and let Facebook run for 30 to 90 days, 
you should be able to close a deal and generate yourself some business. You only need one deal to get yourself going and to close deals consistently. You get that one deal and you reinvest it back into the business. You put in some, some advertising, like I said, um, one real estate deal. If, if your budget is $15 a day, that equates to about $1,500 a month. So you close one deal and you get you get that $1,500 that you need to run towards your advertising and you put it back in the business and you run that constant advertising in your business, 1500 every single month. And it, it will get cheaper because the Facebook algorithm will begin to learn who your audience is and who you want to target. It will get cheaper each month, but you want to, I want you to keep it consistent with that $1,500 budget, close a deal and let that, let that, let that deal feed your marketing and you won't regret facebook ads work it's just you got to do it correctly you have to do facebook advertising correctly and you will not regret utilizing facebook ads so i appreciate you watching uh, i hope that was a, a some good insight on what the cost per lead is and why my cost per lead does not matter it doesn't matter what's happening in my business it matters what happening what's happening in your business. So there's this quote, they like to say, mind your own business. Uh, it is best to mind your own business. That it, it doesn't matter what my results are because I have different experience, different objective and uh, different closing rates. You have to get in there and see what's going to work for you. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.